Okay, in today's video, if you've ever thought about adding 12 volt accessories to your Evolution Cart D5 and have been hunting around the internet for the cleanest way to do the wiring without having to tap in or, you know, cut or splice anything, you may have found some plug and play adapters out there that are over $100. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how with the right connectors found on Amazon, and a nice marine grade fuse box, you could have something very similar for $24 and we can build it ourselves in about 10 minutes with regular tools. Everything we're gonna use today is readily available on Amazon and you can have it next day. So that is what's pretty cool about this. All the links are gonna be in the description below and you're gonna to wanna to click on those exact links, especially for some of these connectors because these are ones that I've had to order a couple different versions and find the right ones with the right pin offset so that it's plug and play into our evolution cart so we can just clip it in and have our wiring set up. So make sure if you are gonna follow along with this tutorial that you use the exact links for some of these T connectors and different products. So the items in blue here are a must have. So if you're gonna set up your own wiring kind of kit, these are the two things that you probably should definitely buy from Amazon using the exact links. And the other stuff you might already have in your garage and you might already have kicking around if you wanna get a little bit more fancy. If you don't, I'll provide the links to the ones that I'm using, but you may have these type of things already at home. So the most important one is this package here. And so this comes pre-wired with the ends and we're gonna use this to create a pigtail connector, allowing us to unplug the adapter that's in the back plugged into the controller. So it's actually in the voltage reducer where it takes 47 volts and brings it down to 12. On the back of that, there's a line and we're gonna unplug the clip. We're gonna plug our harness in to let the power continue on. And then this harness is gonna flow into our fuse box, this simple marine grade fuse box that comes with a collection of automotive fuses. And then from here, we will wire our different accessories. So if there's things you wanna to add to your cart, whether it's underglow or all of those different things, you will use this as the main uh, point after the fact. Okay, so once you open up your bag of connectors, you'll get about 50-50 uh, male and female sides. The male side that goes inside the female side has a little pin on the top. And this will be what is on the voltage reducer inside the cart that's closest. It'll look something like this, uh, of course. Now, it's going to have a green and a black wire on your voltage reducer side. So to make our pigtail, we're essentially gonna make a new end that plugs into that and then this end will plug into our existing wire. And then what we're also going to want to do is duplicate it so that we can have our own end. So our pigtail will essentially do something like this. It will allow for a pass through and then we'll have our own port that we could build our own cable later. I'm gonna show you how I make my own cable later to plug into that port using the other end and go down to our fuse box. But for now, generally a pigtail will allow a pass through of the existing plus a new port for us to use. So we're gonna put those all together. Okay, now before we wire it all together, uh, because the ends are on it, it's important to remember if you are gonna use shrink tube to put some shrink tube on first. So I've put two versions of shrink tube on this side and some heat shrink uh, solderless connectors on this side getting ready for it to go. And on this side, I put one bigger piece of shrink tube over everything and we're gonna pull that back over and shrink it down on top of the connections once it's done. So before you twist everything together, you can't get your tube on afterwards. So it's best to kind of set things up this way, be a little bit prepared. And now we'll twist it together and we'll heat shrink it down and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, once you feed these on, you're gonna want the grip sides to be on each of the wires still, and then the solder pretty much right in the center. We'll heat it up and uh, get those shrunk together. Okay, so after that's shrunk on, the reason we put two extra heat shrink tubes on here is sometimes I find that sometimes you might get a little bit of a poke going through there. These are really good. I like how grippy they are with the glue on either side to keep them from trying to separate but just having one more protection layer on top of each is really quite nice. So we're gonna heat shrink those down now just to add an extra layer of protection between these two. And then we'll slide this one over the top and hold it all together. Okay, so after shrinking those down, we're gonna add this one last layer and shrink it all together. 
When you're working with shrink tube, there's a couple different things to look out for. These are a three to one shrink. Some of the cheaper tubes out there, they only shrink two to one. Three to one is helpful because a lot of the times you might wanna go over something big and get that extra level of shrink. And they also have some kind of like glue lined on the inside to keep them from pulling apart. So this kit, I'll give you a link on Amazon. I think it was about $14. So these are three to one shrink. When you're ordering your shrink tube, kind of keep an eye out for that. I like it uh, being more shrink because then you can put it over top of adapters or other things like that. So uh, not all shrink tube is alike is what I'm saying. Let's shrink this down and finish it up. Okay, and to finish it off, I'm just gonna add uh, about a little bit of loom on there to hold everything tight and so that it looks factory. Uh, really good job. We made this in about you know five minutes and you have a plug and play wiring harness for accessories on the D5. So the next step, is we are going to build, since we have all of these extra adapters, we are gonna make one more that runs into here and goes to our fuse box. So let's work on that now. Okay, so let's talk about this fuse panel. For only $10, you can grab this fuse panel off Amazon. And it is apparently marine grade, which is great because these carts do get a little bit wet. It has a cover that comes off the top. Comes with a collection of fuses and some screws. And you can generally mount this in a convenient spot for you around the cart. Um, on, underneath the seat, usually there's some pretty good spots, but depending on where you're doing your wiring, you can kind of find a clean spot to mount this. So that's what we're gonna do. This is kind of similar to the setup that comes with the, the power plate. What you want is to get you know off of this factory harness. We're gonna get over here to this. Now, these come with a negative terminal on the top, a positive terminal on the bottom. When you're doing your accessory wiring, never uh, run items to the gr ground things to the frame. You're gonna want all of the grounds for your different accessories to come back here and go on this top rail. So for our next wiring harness, what we're really gonna need is these uh, little adapters are a quarter inch ring and the quarter inch ring fits pretty much perfectly onto these, uh, these pins here on the top and bottom. So it looks relatively small, but it is about the right size. I think that's gonna be the cleanest size for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our positive and negative leads are gonna to go to here. Okay, and to build my lead, I'm gonna probably wanna match at least about the 16 gauge wire down to uh, the fuse panel. So these are little kits you can get on Amazon. They uh, come with a collection of colors, uh, this one here is a 16 gauge kit. And as you can see, it comes with some shrink tubes, some zip ties, pretty handy to have around the garage. Uh, I only need about 10 feet of cable because on the two plus two, the controller is gonna be pretty close to underneath the seat. If you have a different type of cart and you wanna build a longer cable, you can build a longer cable to get from the back to the front or maybe even mount your fuse panel in the dash. So it's up to you how you build it, but I'm gonna build about a three foot cable that is going to get me from my uh, our new fuse line to these ends, which will wire to the fuse panel. So let's work on that now. Okay, so we've done our same heat shrink uh, connectors on here and we're going to slide over the uh, heat shrink and just seal those up. Now, if you wanna get fancy, you can get this uh, loom braided wire cover uh, off Amazon also. This is a one third inch or eight millimeter size. It's about the right size, uh, a little bit thick, but to cover the wires as well as our connector. So I'm going to feed that over top before I add my ends to the end and make it look nice and clean. Okay, that's definitely the right size to fit over about two wires and have that uh, uh, splice in the middle. You can see here where it gets a little bit thick, but if you are going to buy the loom, I would go with that exact size. Um, I'll give you a link in the description to that size. So. I'm gonna put a little bit of a heat shrink tube at the top here, and then another heat shrink tube down here, leaving a little bit of space because we need this positive and negative to go to different sides of this terminal block. So we're gonna leave a couple inches at the end here of the red and white so we can uh, see and mount that up. Okay, and with that, we have built ourselves our own uh, fuse box accessory cable. So. We have a nice end to plug into our uh, pigtail adapter here, which will be back by the controller. We'll route this through with the braiding. It's nice. You don't need to worry about it uh, getting rubbed up against if you're routing it or zip tying it over the seat. And then on the other side, 
we have the uh, positive and negative lead grommets, which we will wire to our fuse box on the positive side, and then they put the negative up over here on the negative side. So uh, we will just wire that in place, bolt it down, and then for all of our other accessories, we have our fuses for them, and we can just put additional uh, grommets on the ends of those if it's just a little Y connector, uh, something like this. Um, we will put these on for our other accessories and just simply tap them into place. So like that, you have a really nice plug and play setup uh, for about $25 if you already had the wiring. Uh, this setup will rival essentially a, a BA power plate, you know, a little bit less mounting ability because you're going to have to just kind of screw this into place, find a nice little spot on the inside. Uh, but outside of that, from a functionality perspective, you are able to make your own plug and play wiring harness for accessories for just around $25. So I hope that helps somebody. If you have questions, let me know. But this type of setup now makes it super easy when you go over to the cart, you're not uh, you know messing around. Sometimes the access is even tough to see or get tools over there. So now all you really have to do is unplug an adapter and plug in two and you're good to go. Cheers. Okay, before we end, I just wanted to show you one more time where we are putting this and where it's tapping in to the cart. So you're gonna go onto your cart and depending on your model, you're uh, looking for that silver box right there. See that silver box? That is the voltage reducer. You can see on the back, it is taking in 26 to 60 volts and it's converting it to 12 volts. So this box with the fins right here is what we are looking for. Now the plugs are on the other side of it. So you can see coming out of the back, there's a green wire, a red wire, a yellow wire, a black wire, and they're coming out of the back. And there's two clips on the back of there. So we're not gonna use the one that is red and yellow. We are gonna look for the other one, which is the green and black. You're gonna unclip that and you're gonna put ours in. So. That's the spot you're looking for. You're looking for the box that looks like this. Should be somewhere close to your controller. Uh, and it is the one with the green and black wire on it that you're going to plug in to your harness. So again, you're gonna unplug it. You're gonna stick in your side and then you're gonna plug it back in to the stock side. And then this is giving you our own magic wiring harness, which you can plug in here and route down to your fuse box. And just like that, you've made a setup for your cart. So that's where it's at. Any questions, let me know.